Royal Stadium in Austin, Texas is bursting with excited fans who've come to watch one exciting football game. And now the coin talk, and it's presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. Fielded at the four. Tackle made at the 22-yard line. Young's ability to throw the football has got everybody talking. Whenever he decides to turn pro, he might be a very good one, Kirk. Brad, every quarterback at any level, the two things you have to see from them is decision-making and accuracy. And not only does he have decision-making and accuracy, he also has a really strong arm. And when you combine all those things together, it's no wonder that the people up at the next level are already taking a good, hard look at him. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 32. Caught out in the open. And they make the stop at the 46. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. From the 46-yard line, first down. Got it. And he goes down quickly. That'll be a gain of five. You don't have to go deep every play to be successful. They got five yards on the play, and that's always a good game. Room around the corner. Gibbs gets a pitch. Runs it right. Nice pickup. They're eating up a lot of field on this drive. I'm really impressed with their ball control. From the 36-yard line. It's first down. And he just gets rid of it. Pick. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 26. <laughs> Throws complete, he's got room to work. And he's taken down at the 16. What a relief it is for a quarterback to know that he's got a receiver like this who can step up when he needs him on third down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 16. Here we go. He's under pressure. Quick throw out to the receiver. Tackle made at the three yard line. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well placed ball. Most times you don't need much more than that. It's the ninth play of the drive. The short yardage defense here. Quick strike to the fullback, incomplete, off his hands. They're at the three, second down. Here's the run right, he's got nowhere to go. Oh, the big fella finally gets the chance to get his hands on the ball, and he can't even get to the line of scrimmage. Come on, big man. This is the 11th play of this drive. He's tackled at the nine yard line. 
I'll tell you what, for a defensive back, this kid is a sure tackler, and he showed it right there. This isn't much more than an extra point. Alabama is looking to go up by three. It's up, and it's through the uprights. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. And down he goes at the 28-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. He's at the 30, and he's tackled around the 17-yard line. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. The 10. Tackle at about the five-yard line. That's another first down, Brad. And right now, you can just really feel and sense the rhythm that this offense is in. Their ability to pick up first downs is pushing this defense further and further down, back deep into their own territory. Nice job by the offense to get the final few yards to the end zone. Yeah, they knew what play to call for in that situation and made it work. And he converts the extra point. A nice five-play, 72-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's taken down at the 35. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll bring him down at the 33. And the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop. This is textbook. This is how you're supposed to play against the run. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 33-yard line. And he's hit immediately. Throws it in a hurry. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here. Recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Got it. Complete and he's out of bounds.
from midfield. First down. Now he tries to buy some time. Good game there on the quarterback scramble. You know, I really like the decision to tuck it and run here. He waited and found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. They hand it off. And they push him out right around the 40. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, first down. Sanders gets a handoff to the right. Tackled for a loss. This is the eighth play of this drive. Fires quickly and he's got his man. Brought down at about the 25-yard line. Well, they'll line it up again on third down. Two for two so far on this drive. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. Brooks picks up about three with that catch. The kick is up, and he got it. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The last time out, they were able to pick up big chunks of yards through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game. And he hits him hard at the 28. That's good for a game three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 28. Texas up a point. Setting up blockers, a running back's got it on the screen, and he is drilled at the 31. Gain of three yards. That makes it fourth and four. Pearson is waiting for the snap. Brought down at the 42-yard line. This offense is just going to be kicking themselves. They're moving the ball very well. In fact, they're getting into their opponent's territory. The only problem is they're not finishing off the drives with touchdowns. They're having to settle for field goals. That could eventually catch up to them. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. And they got him. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of him. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long.
And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37 yard line. He throws it. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 48 yard line. So the defense does their job well on that series. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Gets out to around the 38. That's a game of 10. That makes it first and 10. He's pushed out of bounds at the 32. They're about four yards away here on second down. Young with a nice play fake. Room around the corner. Not passing it now. One man to beat. Good tackle there in space. It's first and ten. Ball on the 11. Here's a running play. Touchdown time. This guy seems to make things happen no matter what kind of space he has to work with. All he needs is a little crease of daylight and forget about it. And he hits the PAT. So a seven play, 59 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. And Brad, right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running lanes. So our score, 13-7. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, breaks away from one, and now he's got the corner. The 50. Inside the 30, and he's taken down at the 24-yard line. There are three quarters remaining. Alabama's lead is six. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Tackled after a decent pickup. From the 19 yard line, second down. Robinson takes a handoff, and they make the stop around the 18 yard line. In the shotgun and five wideouts. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. Kicks up, and it's good. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gibbs takes it at the four. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. I love the competitive spirit that we're seeing out on this field today. It looks like one team has the upper hand, and then the other comes right back in to be able to regain the lead. It's going to be an exciting finish. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Alabama has a three-point lead. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. 
From their own 21 yard line, it's second down. Dangerous pass here, and it falls incomplete. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. From their own 32 yard line, it's first down. And he's taken down at the 40 yard line. And now he pitches it. He's tackled at the 39. That might have actually been a situation where he should have kept it. The back didn't have any room to run. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He did not get to the first down marker. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. at the 34-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. On the ground, inside. He's gobbled up in the backfield. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. It's second and 11. Ball on the 32-yard line. Ready, wide 80, wide The lineman got a little ahead of the snap count. Here's the call. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start as a lineman will see movement on the other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. Three down, three down. 41's coming, 41 the mic. Let's go. Wide 80. Wide 80. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. Third and long now after the sack. Larry, Larry, Larry. Mike 41, Mike 41. Get that quarterback. Here we go. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. That makes it fourth and long. Pearson is the punter. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 44. Not a bad return. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Alabama holds a field goal lead. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Nice play fake. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Caught and 
he's hit immediately. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. He's taken down around the 44-yard line. That makes it first and ten. And he's tackled around the 45-yard line. We've got a second and 11. Ball on the 45. He's at the 20. Fires out to his receiver. They'll bring him down around the 12 yard line. First down. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Alabama is up by three. Quick pass, tackle around the six yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. There he goes. Runs it right, nice pickup. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Larry, Larry. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. goes at the 26 yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 26 yard line. Second down. 41's coming. 41 the mic. Ready. Johnson gets a handoff to the right. He makes it out maybe to the 26 yard line. Spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he's hit immediately. Pearson to punt. Down he goes at the 37. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. Looking for his man, incomplete. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He gets rid of this one. Third down, 10 yards to go. 
Ball on their own 37. Throws it to the outside. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. First and ten. Ball on the 44-yard line. And he makes it out to about the 41-yard line. Three yards there on the option keeper. One thing the coaches always say about this sophomore is that he has great lateral movement. That lets him move well behind this defensive line and get after a lot of plays in the running game. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33-yard line. Here we go! Look at the scramble down. He can't get away from the pressure. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack at second and long. Now he tries to buy some time. It's on the ground. It's recovered. So this could be the opportunity they were looking for. Yeah, this will be a big possession by both teams. The defense now needs to step up and hold their ground. They do not want to let this lead slip away. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. Well, I love the toughness here by this quarterback, sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield, only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. And he just gets rid of it. Third and ten. Ball on the 33-yard line. He unloads it. The defender had it and then dropped it. Not a good series there throwing the football. Yeah, not what you want to see as a head coach. Three plays and all incomplete. Pearson awaits the snap. And he's tackled at the 31. Alabama's put themselves in a great position now as they head into the second half. Well, in the first half, we saw a lot of big playability and just a lot of just an explosive approach by this offense. But remember, we'll see what happens here in the second half. This is a long way from being over. Misfortune struck as their last drive ended in a fumble. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Here's the halfback on the screen. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. And he throws it away. He throws left. Incomplete. Almost picked off. They look like they've got the block on, and this offensive line's got to give him some time. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. 
The offense will be hoping for a little more success than they had the last time out. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Scrambling around. The Longhorns will use their first time out of the half. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Seven-yard pickup on the scramble by the quarterback. He fires. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. I like the call here by the defense to bring the heat with the outside linebacker. It was just a better call by the offense, and that's why it's a first down. the 34-yard line. First down. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Third down, and they need to get it to the 24. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. Brought down at about the 19-yard line. Gets it out to him again. And they make the stop around the 10-yard line. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 20-10, Crimson Tide. we played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Nobody's been able to run the football in the first half. Neither ground game really got anything going. And you know, an offensive line, David, has to work in unison. They have to be like the Rockettes. They have to be in perfect step. And these guys, they were dancing to their own tune. It's the biggest Rockettes I've ever seen. Goodness gracious. Ugliest ones, yeah. too. Yeah. Uh, well, the big fat boys do have to work together. The big uglies, and they got to step together. But And you can't allow guys to run through clear. And you, and you see tackles for a loss, especially in the run game when it's this unsuccessful in the first half, you know they're not all working together, and there's too many guys that are getting penetration and making plays, so they got to get it shirt up. Run blocking is the thing they like to do the best. They like to get their big meat hooks on you, grab you, and hold you, and you know, to be honest, they got to do a better job of it if they want to get some successful running game going in the second half. That's going to do it at halftime. Just about ready to start the second half. All right, you finish it up, bro. I'm going to get something in the cafeteria. I'm hungry. But, but wait, don't leave until you get my order. Brad Kirk takes the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 32. Alabama's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, they've just been so conservative so predictable it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game robinson on the give that's a great tackle at the 30 yard line that's a loss of two yards that'll bring up second and 12. second down about 12 yards to go ball on their own 30. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Under heavy pressure. Fires incomplete. He was looking for the tight end. That makes it 
fourth and 12. Pearson is waiting for the snap. Tackle made at the 41 yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. He's tackled right around the 44 yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 44. Receiver screen and he can't hang on. He rifles it. Found his man. And he's taken down around the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Now it's first and goal with the defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Tackle made at the four. Touchdown tie. Great move to get into the end zone. There's a perfect play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. Room around the corner. Across the 30. He's taken down at the 33. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They hook up over the middle. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. First and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. Ready! Ready! Tackled after a decent pickup. Caught first down, and he's out of bounds. From the 34-yard line, it's first down. He's under pressure. They'll bring him down at the 24-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Takes 
it up the middle for a nice run. From the 20-yard line, first down. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Nice run, and he's brought down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Little screen pass, and he stopped behind the line. They'll line it up for the field goal. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Texas ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The offense really came up with a nice drive there last time out, and most of those yards came through the air. This defense needs to improve from front to back. The line needs to put more pressure on the quarterback, and the defensive backs need to stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. They'll give it off here. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line, second down. Taken down around the 43 yard line. Tackle at the 41. From the 41 yard line, second down. He's at the 30, to the 10. He's all the way home, touchdown. Wow, when you see that end zone in front of you, it can elevate your running to another level. Awesome play. And he adds the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 21-yard line. Young's play so far in this football game, he's really the definition of just being a solid competitor every week. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been watching him, and just every week he has impressed us. And then to be able to sit down and talk with him, I think that's the thing that really I took away from our meeting is not just is this guy a talented player, but how competitive he is. And we've seen that again in this football game, just his competitive spirit leading this team and up to this point, just a flawless performance. We've got a first and 10, ball on the 33.
Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes, right around the 48-yard line. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. And a quick throw. Brought down around the 42-yard line. More with the tackle at the 42-yard line. That brings up second and one. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. Nice run there. Robinson picks up about four yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. Third down. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Mike 19, Mike 19. Let's go. Red 18. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. The kick is up, it's got the distance, and he just drilled it from long range. Texas lines up for the kickoff. And he'll return this one from the seventh. He's tackled at the 22. Alabama's offense has just been dominant here in the third quarter, and it's got to be pretty demoralizing for the defense. Yeah, the defense, I mean, they just have to get some kind of stop here to be able to get some confidence and be able to get their own offense into the position of being able to put some points up. But right now, they just cannot stop this high-powered attack. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That's a D six on the ball. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. 47-5, Under heavy pressure, throws it to the outside. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. Gets it out to an open receiver and just dropped it. Jamison back to return it. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And he's tackled the 39 yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. From their own 43-yard line. Second down. And he has it on the corner. And he carries the ball for a nice game. He's going to try and scramble. Slides down to the ground.
First and ten. Ball on the 46. So at the end of the third quarter, Alabama leads it 34 16. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Five wide. And he shoved out of bounds right around the 42-yard line. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. He's in trouble. It's a fumble. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's at the 30, gets out to around the 25. Get him in the backfield for a loss. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. It's second down now. 13 to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. They'll spread the field with five wide. He tackles him hard at the 36. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He zips it. That close to being intercepted. It's fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Kicks away. Top break there for the kicking team. And our score, 34-16, Alabama. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Quick pass. Tackle made around the 48-yard line. They pick up a few yards there on the pass. And I'll tell you what, that fake handoff froze the secondary just enough to allow for the receiver to come up with a nice gain that time. Good call. Wide out makes the first down catch. He's tackled around the 40-yard line. From the 40-yard line, first down. Aaron and out long. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal.
So after the big pass play, we have a first and goal. Strike to his receiver, no good. Looking for the corner. Touchdown, Crimson Tide. That's his third trip to the end zone. Boy, this guy's been huge today. It's been a big part of the reason that his team has the lead. And he converts the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The deficit is huge, but as a player, you never want to slow down your effort. Believe me, coaches notice the ones who aren't trying that hard. He gets to about the 34-yard line. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. That'll make it third and one. Here we go. Red 68. Red 68. They played it pretty carefully, going with the run in a short yardage situation, and it paid off. From their own 35-yard line, it's first down. Here comes the pressure. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down at the 47. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. throw out to the receiver incomplete second down 10 to go ball on the 47 yard line quick shot to the tight end and he can't pull it in quickly and he's got his man and he's tackled right around midfield well he caught it but it's almost no yards gain and now it's fourth down give props to the D here for coming up with a big stop on third down it's fourth down and they're going to try to go for it he passes it well you have to admire the defense for showing some pride here the game's obviously out of hand but they haven't given up nice stop Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. Alabama looking to add to this big lead here. He's going to air it long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. That was a nice play. Anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 50. He's at the 40. Tackle at the 35. So the run goes for a big first down. The offensive line opened up some nice lanes to run through as well. Nice play. Complete. He's got room. 
He's taken down right around the 26 yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's got to throw it in a hurry. Deep pass to the end zone. And this one's broken up. Nice run, and he's brought down. First down. From the 20 yard line. First down. Nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Alabama comes to the line in complete control in this game. Picks up about four yards with a the catch. They've done a great job on this drive with the underneath pass. The quarterback isn't forcing the ball, and you can see how effective he is. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. <laughs> Trying to set up a little screen, gets it to his tailback. Knocked out of bounds at the 11-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. Quickly, touchdown! And a nice catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Gets out to about the 21. I don't expect any once-in-a-lifetime rallies here. But that being said, we could still see some exciting plays. Just under three to go in regulation. Nearly intercepted. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 21. Brought down at the 24-yard line. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Nice run there. They had a moderate amount of yards to gain, and they'll end up a foot or two shy. Yeah, the defense closed up that hole just in time. Pearson to punt. And down he goes at the 39. Young to start. Hey, he's everything we expected to see today. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. He's at midfield. And down he goes at the 45-yard line. 
That's good for a gain of 16 yards. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 45 yard line. He gets out to about the 42 yard line. We have less than a minute to go. Tackled after a decent pickup. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go. Alabama's staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.